easy. My legs are numb. Please hurry. Okay. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Why'd you stop? Idiot. I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. Boy. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Yeah. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. Yeah. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. We're close now, just a little further. Can't this wait? Okay. I need to get home. Lord! We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Having fun, mister? Thank <laughs> you. 
interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi there. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Watch out! Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? <laughs> Look out, Arthur. The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Hey! Look where you're going. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. feeling about things now what things this place the gang been here a few weeks now good i think better i figured more folks would have cut and run on us given everything that happened like dutch always says the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains he does like to trot that one out people see that especially when they get a few years on them even someone like micah there's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on.
There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You've got binoculars, don't you? You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning, when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Get on, dear boy. problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Ah! Get on and let's head back. 
starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Slow it down a bit. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. You're all right, boy. Come on, girl. <laughs> 